to eliminate power conversion steps future microgrids with renewable energy sources are being visualized as dc power systems system components such as solar panels fuel cells etc loads and power conversion have been identified and are readily available however when it comes to dc circuit breakers many designs are still in experimental phase the main limitation is that interrupting a current which does not have zero crossing will sustain an arc this video introduces a new type of dc circuit breaker it uses a short conduction path between the breaker and load as well as mutual coupling to automatically and rapidly switch off in response to a fault the proposed breaker can also have a crowbar type switch at the output so that it can be used as a dc switch now let's see the our concept Here we can see two types of fault sensing techniques. First one shows a typical arrangement of circuit breaker inserted between source and load. In this circuit, the source current is monitored for fault current detection. Alternatively, a capacitor can be connected to ground within a breaker in second technique. Actually, the second method is good for detecting transient currents and is used to motor drives for detection of shoot through. that is a small capacitor in series with some type of current sensors can be connected to the dc bus of a drive shoot through faults create an impulse of a current in this capacitor and the detection can be immediately turn off the drive's gate signal likewise a short path could be added to any type of dc circuit breakers for fast detection of faults instead of monitoring main path between source and the load like uh, abo technique Now we will choose the second technique and remod five. So let's see how it will be. Here, figure two is our proposed DC circuit breaker. During steady state operation, current flows from the source to the load through the SCR and this coupled inductor. A fault on the load side, a fault on the load side will cause a impulse current IC in the short path containing the capacitor and the secondary winding of the coupled inductor. with the tons ratio the current is reflected to the primary and essentially pushes the scr current to zero at that time scr switches off it should be noted that the tons ratio n1 by n2 can also be set so that the breaker does not identify a large change in load as a fault an alternative approach to the proposed breaker that is figure number 3 in this circuit the main path current flows through the primary and secondary winding so that this variation is does not identify large change in the load as fault okay because our main aim is to detect the fault not the change in load okay so this figure number 3 does not identify large change in the load as a fault that is the our main aim now we need to perform the circuit simulation in matlab with the fault condition and also with large change in load condition now let's see the simulation so this is our simulation diagram so i already told you we need to do two performances first one is how our circuit is working under fault condition and also we need to see the how our circuit is working in the step change in the load or large change in the load okay so in the first case i am showing you step change in the load okay first we need to take the dc source because our circuit is dc circuit breaker right and we need to take the scr and also coupled inductor along with the diode resistor and capacitor connected to the load this sub system contains the load okay so here i am giving the step change okay i am giving the step change here okay so let's see how this step change will identify our circuit breaker now just run the simulation diagram here i am measuring the both current i not so this is the source current and this is the load current and this is the fault current so now let's open the scope to see the source and load current now you can observe here from 0 to 0.5 there is nothing happen at 0.5 we are changing the load okay we are changing step change in the load okay that is what we given right so in the load we are giving step signal where at 0.5 seconds so that's why here at 0.5 there is a change in step but current does not go to zero right so here current does not go to zero so scr identified it is a step change in the load only that's why the current does not go to zero okay now let's see the same circuit breaker with the fault condition so this is the same circuit breaker as above but here we are giving the fault we are giving the fault at where at what time we are giving at 0.2 seconds now let's run the simulation 
and open the scope so here you can able to see until 0.2 seconds circuit does not get anything okay so when 0.2 seconds come we are giving the fault rate so it can track that is a fault and it is turn off the scr and the current will be zero you can see so this is the zero okay first one is source current second one is load current and third one is capacitor voltage and fourth one is scr voltage now open the scope so here you can see source current and load current both are zero when the fault occurred okay when the fault occur at 0.2 seconds automatically our currents will be zero okay that is the thing we need to understand at last i am changing one modification to our circuit that is figure number four i am modifying proposed dc circuit breaker as this one okay why why because to insert our circuit breaker in a medium voltage dc system here i am doing the two modifications that is replacing a rc impedance in the previous design that means here this rc impedance with the previous design with the pure capacitor okay i am replacing with the pure capacitor and i am adding a charging resistor r this is the charging resistor r i am adding here with a diode placed in series the purpose of this charging resistor is to initially charge the capacitor that is when starting the breaker the source voltage is established then the scr labeled as one that means this one is gated on this causes a charging of the capacitor through transformer and charging resistor the desired charging time can be set using the constant formed by c and rc furthermore the charging resistor limits the initial capacitor surge current with the diode in parallel the charging resistor is bypassed during the fault operation and the breaker responds as i explained now that is the main thing why we modified our dc circuit breaker for medium voltage dc system you can also see this modified simulation also that is this one same thing but we are changing the impedance as pure capacitor and adding the charging resistor here along with the diodes now let's run our circuit and you can see the output same here when the fault occur source and load currents will be zero that's it our dc circuit breaker is completely working when the fault occur okay and it does not track the large step size in the load as a fault okay that is the main thing and also at starting i told you we have the crowbar switch that is act as a dc switch right that is nothing but this s2 this s2 is nothing but the crowbar switch that is act as a dc switch also okay if you want this project then contact me i will provide you i am attaching the reference paper of this project in the below description you can check the details